match. Uh, we got Zage. Zage on this Pac-Man versus Fusion on Rosling Aluma. Now, last time these players met, Zage, I'm pretty sure, won 2-0. Um, he did. So last time these players met in round two, Zage won 2-0. Uh, and so, uh, yo, what's up, Weavile? Long time no see, man. I saw your corn video that was just put out recently. Good stuff. Good stuff. It's been a long time since I've seen since I've seen you, man. I, remember, I think the last time I saw you, uh, I didn't even see you. I was at STR, and um, I saw your name on one of the consoles randomly. That was the last time I saw you. I saw you, realistically. Alrighty, so right now Zaga getting off to a really quick lead again. Um, really just doing a good job of breaking this zone. Uh, Fusion having trouble. Oh, okay, that little, I see that little wall splat key bounce. Good stuff right there. Both players fighting over the hydrant right now. Ooh, a little bit of lag right there. Not helping, not helping these players out at all. Good job to keep himself safe after down being right there. Alrighty, both players pretty even right now. Fusion really... Fusion Fusion is having a little bit of trouble, but he's playing a lot better than he did in the first time they met up. Because the first time they met up, he just looked like he was a little bit lost. Right now... Ooh, Zagi holding that key. He just A catches that key. doesn't even think about it. Uh, throws it down. Kind of loses a good jab right there by Zagi. Both trades. Oh, tries it. Wow. Wow, the side B out prioritizing uh, the disjoint on uh, Rosling is down there. Interesting. Good to know, too. Zage holding that key. Definitely looking to get a kill with it. Might just do a Z drop with it like he did last time. Oh, Fusion knows it. Oh, not the, not the greatest edge guard, but still gets him with the key afterwards. Good DI right there by Fusion, though. Ooh, nice down there. Ooh, nice raw up smash right there. Catching Zage playing a little bit too cheeky with that key. Ends up getting him with it. <laughs> Zage just, just throws it out there raw. Good neutral. Let's see what the edge guard's going to be. Ooh, yeah, that's the right edge guard right there. Kind of put in a bad position. Goes ahead and hits him with the, with the uh, hider. So good stuff right there. Uh, Fusion's going to have to play patiently right here and just secure the kill. He gets him. Gets him in the forward smash. My forward smash is faster than yours. Um, good stuff right there. Kind of a weird option by Zage to just throw the forward smash right there, but... And then again, uh, he's in Grand Finals, or he's in Loser's Finals, or I'm not, so. Mm. Let's see what the edge guard's gonna be. Okay. Kind of a wonky offstage experience right there, but pretty good. straight into the hydra. He's gonna have to avoid being underneath Pac-Man unless he's gonna be ready to down B. Right now I would not be under him. I would just be away from him. Alright, he's got that. Okay. Got key in hand again. See what he wants to do with it. He definitely doesn't want to just give it to him for sure, so. <laughs> Catch his pellet. Both players super even right now. Luma's dead and hits him with a Hydra at the same time. Two minutes left on the clock. This match has been going on for a long time, which is expected. Ooh, goes for the edge guard, but just misses it. Gets caught by that forward smash. Yeah, I think I did. I think I did, Weavile. Um... Because I'm pretty sure I saw your name on a setup there as well, actually. Ooh, and hits him with that bell up smash right there. Uh, what did you get, Weavile, when you went to Versus? Well, what, what place did you get? Good stuff, man. That's impressive. That's honestly impressive. I'm, I'm really, like, say somehow. 
All right, so we're hopping into this back on Smashville right now. Fusion making a character switch to Link. He did mention that his Link is Rusty AF in chat, so we'll see how he ends up playing here. Um, I'm not entirely sure if this is the right pick. I think Rosalina is the right pick, no matter which way you look at it. But, um... Well, we'll see if he plays it better than he does with the Rosalina. I mean, he might be just thinking to himself, look, I can outplay this person mentally. Here's what I need to do. Is I need to be able to secure kills, and I'm having trouble doing that with Rosalina right now. So he's just going to have to deal with the obstacle. Um, that is all of these, uh, that is all the projectiles that he doesn't have the downbeat to deal with. Then again, I mean, he's also kind of giving Zage a little practice for the Tomb Link when that comes up. If Zage ends up winning this. If Fusion wins this, so we might have a Link versus Tomb Link, uh, attorney series. Would be ridiculous. <laughs> I like the no homo in there. Yeah, we've. Uh, I think I tied for 13th when I got when I went last time or whatever, and I'm glad you're still playing Pikachu. Pikachu's badass. Um, but yeah, no, that's honestly that's what I hear the most. Snorly is that people play the best when they don't care about the results. When you just go in and you're just playing to play, is when you're playing the best because you're you're really at a realm where you're letting your hands do more of the talking than you are your ego or your brain. That's what I've heard lately anyway. I know I bust her out a lot of turns because I care too goddamn much, and that's my problem, but good stuff though, man. You know? I hope you uh hope your headache's gone. I hope that's what it's gone too. That always sucks. 115% to 115%. Shouts to Fusion for that recovery with the uh with the bomb recovery, which is really good. Right now he's just kinda going for raw smash attacks to get a kill, and uh, in the process gets hit with that soft forward air into uh into key throw, which is a really good setup by Pac-Man. But then he comes back down, hits him with a fair of his own, and ends up getting the kill, so 0% to 0%. Been about, almost been about two and a half minutes so far. Ooh, gonna have to deal with that Hydra every single time he tries to recover. Mm, fair, not safe on shield, not from that height anyway. Good bomb to neutral right there. Zaga is so good with Pac-Man's uh, jabs. Nice back air right there. It looked like he may have been going for something a little cheeky with like the hydrant water on the tech, actually. Uh, Fusion doing a really good job, but still just handling it right now. Goes for the edge guard, he misses it, but still okay, still safe. That one, not so much. Tries to hit the trampoline. Uh, ends up getting hit with the down B. Zage recognizes that he tries to hit the trampoline. Doesn't tech the hit. And um, uh, Wind Requiem, who's a, a, a turn link player. And only seven people entered this tournament. I think it's because it's Mother's Day, though, which kind of sucks. I don't understand uh, the question, uh, Rubber Ducky Assassin. I do not understand the question. Sassafras238, thank you for the follow, appreciate it. Uh, Ugamania, I mean, my Nightbot is kind of a jerk, so like, I don't know why my Nightbot's such a jerk. I didn't disable him, so he's still enabled right now. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know, Oog. My, I didn't set the night bot, man. I gotta. <laughs> it was already set before I started the stream. I didn't realize that it was set. I'm not changing it now, but I'll change it later, okay? Um, we've all. I play Falcon, actually. I am a Falcon slash Mario player, so I mainly have the Mario for bad matchups like Olimar and uh, Pikachu, though. And sometimes villager. And sometimes she. Alright, both players very even right now. Battlefield being the right counter pick to go up against the Pac-Man. But right now, you know, what I've noticed with most Pac-Mans is a lot of them actually like Battlefield because they're, they're taken to it so often as the counter pick that they just get so good at it. But ultimately, the pros, the pros on the stage against Pac-Man are too good to not come here, so... It is, it is a big deal. Well, we region locked the tournament to be 
in US only so that if I have to fly anybody in it won't cost me an arm and a leg and um, you know we just we post it and then we we discern who the best player is out of all of it and at the end of the day we're gonna do a round robin of the best qualifiers from the tournaments and whoever wins that uh, deserves to be sponsored so Snorley, the thing about Falcon versus Olimar is like Falcon is so like I don't know if you know, but down tilt is like one of the hardest things to deal with as a Falcon player. Down tilt, an Olimar's down tilt is way too good, and it's really hard to deal with. So I think Falcon wins it as well, but not easily for sure. Battlefield saving Fusion's life right there off of that apple snipe. Ooh, but gets hit with a key right through the uh, right through the window. Yes, round robin goes by most wins per set. Correct. Yes, CEO sponsorship is definitely different than ICG sponsorship. The CEO sponsorship is a one-time sponsorship by the company. Yeah, I know Kirby and Mega Man are really, really bad. Yeah, I know Vetro, man. That that's that's always the hope, man, is that people will only go from Palm Beach to Orlando. <laughs> Saves me a lot of money, you know what I mean? Because I'll just come drive and pick you up, or I'll just meet you there. <laughs> what's up, Mars? It looked like you had a question, but then you didn't finish it. So what's going on, man? What you got in your head? Fusion, uh, still. <laughs> Back to the match, sorry. Since I'm running solo, it's weird. I'm like talking to you. So. Fusion right now, um... Trying to make a comeback here. Trying to go back up and take this to a game four, actually. Um, ooh, hits with a... I get playing really strong right now, though. Ooh, goes for the bell setup. Uh, a one-time sponsorship is just like just for the tournament, just for CEO. Like they get to wear the tag in CEO, they get a jersey for CEO, and then after that, we we cut ties of affiliation. Realistically, I mean we're still we know each other, we talk, but that's about it. Um, so Mars, that whole thing was a little bit different, right? So the other seasons are being rewarded 100, but it's split into the top three basically, right? I paid you and Cashmere out specifically 50-50. Um, because I wasn't planning on paying a third person for the first one, right? So it was 